Now, I want to give a shout out to Case Study QB, always doing phenomenal work. So Case Study posted this clip. Now, this is Bernie Sanders was on Meet the Press having an interesting discussion with Chuck Schumer. So Case Study says here, Bernie Sanders meet the press full interview calling out Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema for sabotaging Biden and calling out too many Democrats supporting Henry Queller. I hope I say his last name uh, correctly over uh, Jessica Cisneros. So let's listen to this, you guys, uh, because this was a pretty interesting discussion. Here we go. Let's start with. Uh, what you what you know uh, probably instinctively these days, but our polling has found 75% of the country thinks we're headed in the wrong direction. In fact, just 28% of Democrats right now think the country is headed in the right direction. Uh, where do you stand? Do you think we're headed in the wrong direction? I sure do. Look, what we're looking at is a nation today where the billionaire class, the people on top are doing phenomenally well, Chuck, uh, the middle class continues to decline. Uh, we're seeing increased concentration of ownership in America, which has huge impacts. I want to look at that poll one more time. Did he sh actually show it? Let him read these numbers again. Let's start with uh, what you what you know uh, probably instinctively these days, but our polling has found 75% of the country thinks we're headed in the wrong direction. 75% of the country says we are heading in the wrong direction. Not even 50, 75%. All right, let's get back to uh, Bernie's little speech here. Wall Street firms, uh, Vanguard, uh, BlackRock, and State Street, that have assets of over $20 trillion yeah. controlling hundreds of corporations. Now, I've talked about those three on this show multiple times. You need to pay close attention to those companies, BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street. They are shareholders in multiple companies. You're seeing millions of people unable to afford the cost of prescription drugs, unable to afford health care, unable to put gas in the tank. So how can anyone think that what's going on right now is good. Uh, and obviously what I and other progressives are trying to do is put together a movement which tells the billionaire class in this country whose profits are soaring, who are getting richer and richer, you know what, you can't have it all. We need it. So Bernie Sanders is saying him and other progressives are trying to put together a movement. But Bernie had a movement. No, Bernie had a movement for years. The first time when he ran in 2016, going all the way through 2020, Bernie had a movement. He wouldn't have to try to put together one if he didn't leave the movement that he had. I'm sorry, but that's just a reality. Hmm. Economy that works for the middle class, the working class, the elderly, the children, not just the few on top. You know, it's interesting when you talk about the movement, because there's definitely, I, we see it in our own polling, there are more people that agree with sort of your uh, mindset, that you're framing, we need big structural change. But what do we do now before the elections? What, you know, at the end of the day, you have the Senate that you have, not the one that you want. What can get done now that could actually mitigate what looks like it's gonna be a tough year? I wanna interrupt Chuck Todd here for just a second because he said you have the Senate that you have, not the Senate that you want. No, they do have the people in there that they want. Let, let's let's remember. Let's remember all this stuff that happened with Nina Turner and her election and how the Progressive Caucus and the Congressional Black Caucus did not want to go with her. Like I said, the party decides who they want. So the people that you see sitting up there in the Senate, that's who the party wanted. And nine times out of 10, the candidate that has the most money is the one that wins. So Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin are there because that's what the Democratic Party wanted. The Democratic Party did not want Paula Jean Swearingen, who was obviously the better option. That's not who they wanted. The people sitting there are the people that the party wants. And Bernie Sanders knows that. For Democrats. 
Look, uh, we passed early on in the Biden uh, administration one of the most significant pieces of legislation in the modern history of this country. That was the American Rescue Plan, which, Chuck, in my view, did a whole lot to help people deal with the economic turmoil that we saw as a result of COVID and massive unemployment. Uh, what we have got to do right now, it's not hard. You know what you do? You listen to the American people and not wealthy campaign contributors. What does that mean? It means that right now you lower the outrageous cost of prescription drugs in this country. You have the guts to take on the pharmaceutical industry that right now has 1,500 paid lobbyists in Washington, D.C. You expand Medicare. I happen to believe, as candidates that I support believe, that health care is a human right, not a function of making huge profits for the insurance companies and the people who own them. You've got to move to expanding health care. You've got to raise the minimum wage to a living wage. You've got to create millions of jobs by dealing with the existential threat of climate. And by the way, you got to do what the American people want and understand that it is women who have the right to control their own bodies, not the government. Okay, everything you said there was being addressed in Build Back Better. Okay, it wasn't as big as you wanted it. It was too big for some. But why do we have nothing? Right, that is the head scratcher here. Understand you don't have it all. Why no, is it zero? Why is there nothing? It's... Okay, I'm going to get to this part in just a second, but I do want to say something about the American uh, Rescue Act. I don't know about you guys, but I didn't get anything from the American Rescue Act. I don't have kids, so that child tax credit obviously didn't go towards me, but they cut that short anyway. So there's that. But the American Rescue Act didn't rescue people. <laughs> Rescuing the American people would be giving everybody a living wage. Couldn't do that. You had eight Democrats vote against a $15 minimum wage. It's not just Kirsten Sinema and Joe Manchin. But I noticed those other Democrats were not give, getting as much pressure as Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema were. Call the rest of them out too. But that American Rescue Act did not rescue Americans. People are still in poverty. What did it help? What did it help? JB says, Chuck Todd knows why we have nothing. He just needs to ask his boss. Ouch. Well, it should not be a head scratcher. You got two members of the Senate, Senator Manchin and Senator Sinema, who have sabotaged uh, what the president has been fighting. That's a strong for, word. Uh, sabotaged. 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 You know, Kirsten Sinema, she was an interesting one because she used to be Green Party. I don't know if everyone knows that. She agreed with $15 minimum wage. And she voted against it. And this is why I tell people it's not enough for politicians to say, yes, I support an issue. I support Medicare for all. I support $15 minimum wage. The question is, are you actually going to fight for it? Because Kirsten Sinema, like I said, she supported $15 minimum wage and then she got elected and she voted down on it. So again, you know, Bernie is buying into the Democratic Party talking points here of we got to blame Manchin and Sinema. They're the rotating villains. The Democratic Party knew exactly who Joe Manchin was when they told people to vote for him over Paula Jean Swearingen. They knew that he was not progressive. They knew he was against Medicare for all. That is not something that he kept secret. He's been vocal about it. They knew what they were getting. So how is how are you sabotaged if you already knew what they were? Question for the audience. Well, you help me out with a better word here. You got 48 members of the Senate who wanted to go forward with an agenda that helped working families that was prepared to take on the wealthy and the powerful. You had a president who wanted to do that. You had two people who prevented us from doing that. You have a better word than sabotage? That's fine, but I think that is the right word. And I think pressure has got to be put on the part of people in West Virginia, in Arizona, to say, you know what? Why don't you stand up for ordinary Americans and not just your wealthy campaign contributors? Why don't you have the guts to take on the drug companies and the insurance companies and the why are they still asking them questions? 
Has Joe Manchin been removed from any of his committee assignments? Has the Democratic Party threatened Joe Manchin the same way they threatened members of the squad? No. Uh, Joe Biden's response was, I'll work with Manchin. He'll come around. They can work with him. But they're not going to work with the progressive candidates that are in the House. It's all a show. Fossil fuel industry. So let me ask you, though, I, I, I look, I've, had, I've talked to Pennsylvania Democrats and they also blame Senators Manchin and Cinema. They don't blame the Republicans. Is that healthy for the party? Of course they do, because those are the talking points that are coming from mainstream media and they watch people like you, Chuck Todd. So, of course, they're going to repeat the same talking points that you have. Party that that all of this concentration and, and should you have found something to do that isolates the Republicans rather than you guys ended up dividing the party against itself. No, I, I don't see it that way, Chuck. I mean, I. Now, I don't know if Bernie caught this, but I caught it. Listen to what Chuck, saw, Chuck Todd says right here, really quick, right about here. In cinema. They don't blame the Republicans. Is that healthy for the party that, that all of this concentration and, and should you have found something to do that isolates the Republicans rather than you guys ended up dividing the party against itself? You guys ended up dividing the party. Pay attention to that. No, I, I don't see it that way, Chuck. I mean, I think on all of these issues, we had zero Republican support for the proposals in Medicare, in, in uh, Build Back Better, that were enormously popular. So it's certainly not just. But you already knew that you were not going to get the Republican support. This is not like this was a surprise to Bernie Sanders or to any of the politicians sitting there. They already knew the Republicans opposed it. This mansion and cinema, they are two out of the 50 Democrats who went in the wrong direction, but every Republican did. So if your point is it's not just mansion and cinema, you're right. It is every Republican. Now, the problem, I think, is we have not done a good job in making that clear to the American people. Let me ask. Yes, you have. Hold up, Bernie. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know you did not try to snowball me. Certainly not just Manchin and Cinema. They are two out of the 50 Democrats who went in the wrong direction, but every Republican did. So if your point is it's not just Manchin and Cinema, you're right. It is every Republican. Now, the problem, I think, is we have not done a good job in making that clear to the American people. Let me ask you. Yes, you have. CNN, MSNBC, the number of times they have reported that Kirsten Cinema and Joe Manchin were blocking bills, were blocking legislation. Guys, I covered it multiple times on this show. The American people know that they're not approving these bills. The American people know that. Was it not CNN? And MSNBC, who said something about Kirsten Cinema giving the thumbs down little curtsy for the $15 minimum wage? I can't believe he's even doing these talking points. This is the same thing that Obama and Hillary Clinton and Ro Connor are saying that we need to tell the story better. Now Bernie Sanders going along saying the same damn thing. People know. We haven't done a good job of letting the people know. Yes, you have. Yes, you have multiple times, actually. About the vote to codify Roe this week. Uh, this is one of those votes that, that had 49 Democrats, not 50. Um, should it have been a should you should the leadership have put a bill on the floor that could have gotten 52 votes, including Collins and Murkowski, to isolate the 48 Republican no's? No, I mean, I think we'll see what happens. But to answer your question, I think nobody should think that this process is dead. We should bring those bills up again and again and again. I, I, can't, I was just at a rally earlier, you know, on, on Saturday mm -hmm. it, uh, in my pillion from my, my state capitol. I mean, people cannot believe that you have a Supreme Court and Republicans who are pre prepared to overturn 50 years of precedent. So I think what we should do 
is on this bill and the filibuster, do everything that we mm -hmm. can to get 50 votes on the strongest possible bill to protect the woman's right to control her own body. Before but you're not going to be able to end the filibuster because Kirsten Sinema already said she won't approve it. Or uh, we had this leak opinion about Roe being overturned. You didn't you didn't uh, use the abortion issue as a reason not to support people. You would have you've supported pro-life progressives if they were progressive on economic issues. Well, I recall no. a, a mayor of Omaha. I recall a race like that. Has your mind there changed? There you go. A mayor no, of Omaha. No, I understand that. But is, is your philosophy changed? Is that a litmus <laughs> test for you now for progressives? No. Well, I do find it interesting that at this particular moment, when a, literally a woman's right to choose is, is right at stake, that we have too many Democrats who are prepared to support a candidate in Texas who is one of the few uh, anti-pro-choice uh, members of You're Congress. You're speaking of Henry Cuellar. You think that's a mistake? Uh, yeah, I do. And I, I think I'm supporting... Uh, uh, Jessica Cisneros down right. there. I hope she wins. I'm supporting Summer Lee in Pennsylvania. I hope she wins as well. Do you think at this point, being pro-life, uh, you can't be in the Democratic Party or in the Democratic coalition? Are you are well, you go ready to go that I far? I mean, that's a, that's a, uh, you know, we'll, we will see. All that I can see. Uh, what was that? We will see, Bernie said. So, Bernie Sanders just told you he thinks it's a mistake that Nancy Pelosi, well, maybe didn't say their names, but the people are Nancy Pelosi and Jim Clyburn that have chosen to endorse uh, Henry Queller uh, instead of Jessica Cisneros and Henry Queller is uh, pro-life. He's a Democrat. He's a conservative Democrat, whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. But they have chosen to support him. But at the same time, the Democratic Party in D.C. is telling people we need to codify Roe v. Wade into law. So they're saying one thing, but their actions are showing you something different. So he said he doesn't think that's a good idea. Now, Chuck Todd goes on to ask him, do you think that you shouldn't be pro-life and be a part of the Democratic Party? Now, this is where he slips up. That's why I say you got to watch it. Uh uh, Jessica Cisneros down right. there. I hope she wins. I'm supporting Summer Lee in Pennsylvania. I hope she wins as well. Do you think at this point, being pro-life, uh, you can't be in the Democratic Party or in the Democratic coalition? Are you are well, you go ready to go that I far? I mean, that's a, that's a, uh, you know, we'll, we will see. All that I can. We will see. Anybody else confused by this? That response compared to what he just gave. So that's Bernie Sanders letting you know right there that if push comes to shove and the Democratic Party wants to go in that direction, let's say Jessica Cineros, uh, it's it's a close race. And from what I, I've seen so far with the poll numbers, it does uh, it looks pretty close. Uh, but let's say the Democratic Party says, no, nah, you know, we got to go with we, we got to go with Henry. It, this is why Bernie telling you will see because Bernie Sanders knows that there are some Democrats in D.C. that are pro-life. Do you think that's what Bernie really feels? Do you think he really feels, oh, well, you know, we'll see. No, I think Bernie Sanders really feels like saying, no, if you're a pro-life, you shouldn't be in the Democratic Party. But I'm pretty sure he knows what he can and cannot say. I can say is I think you have the overwhelming majority of people who consider themselves to be Democrats, to be pro-choice. Uh, I have been pro-choice my entire uh, life and the candidates that I am supporting now are all uh, pro-choice. Look, a woman's right to control her own body is really on the line, and we've got to do everything we can can to defend that right. Uh, last question: Are you uh, are you definitely going to rule out ever being a presidential candidate again, or if there's an open race in 2024? Could you why not? did I think? Why did I? Why did I think you might ask that question? Well, your Fat Shakur wrote it in his memo. You, know, you don't look. Nope. Uh, no politician I know rules out, you know, all options. You know, everything is on the table. But, you know, right now my focus is to do everything that I can uh, to elect candidates uh, to Congress who are going to stand up and fight for working families in this coming midterm election. Fair enough. Senator Bernie. Okay. I don't know why they asked Bernie that question. Why did you ask him that question, Chuck Todd, whether or not Bernie would consider running for president again? Why? So you can invite him on your show and smear him like you did last time? 
Now all of a sudden Chuck Todd is trying to pretend like he actually cares. <laughs> He's actually being considerate here. Are you thinking about it? Uh, you might run again another time or what are you thinking about? Why? So you can attack him? So you can call him a socialist? By the way, that's not a bad term. Hello? So you can sit up there and call him names and lie about the plans and the issues so that you can tell people they want to take your health insurance away. Please get out of here. I wanted to show you that clip because I want you to see, even though Bernie Sanders independent, he's still for the most part going along with the talking points of the Democratic Party. Those are the people that they want in D.C. They don't want people who are going to go rogue. I'm going to go to some of the comments. Notori says, I love what Bernie Sanders did for the movement, but I would never vote for him again, especially after seeing him on his knees for Jim Crow Joe. Well said. AJF, thank you for the super chat. Sociopathy is a prerequisite in succeeding in corporate and political fields in the USA. My estimation, opinion, of course. Hmm, interesting. Thank you for the super chat, The Traveler. Joe Biden endorsed cinema back in 2018 too. Yep. <laughs> yes, he did. He did. Thank you for the super chat, Brothwaite. Cinema and Munchkin are useful, for <laughs> are useful foils for the DNC and Bernie to claim that their hands are tied. Political kabuki theater. Do you guys remember during uh, Obama's presidency, it was Lieberman. Yes. See, there's someone every time. During Obama's presidency, it was Lieberman was the one. He was the rotating villain. JB said Bernie is pushing the rotating villain like the Democratic Party wants. Yep. Thank you for the super chat, Andrew. It's one thing if you're anti-choice and pro-working class. It's another thing if you're anti-choice and anti-working class. Mm. Interesting. Laura says the burn is financially set, just like all the other uniparty ring kissers. They all live fat, happy lives with great health care. Damn. Yeah, they have good health care, you guys. Thank you for the super chat, AJF. Mark my words, if Democrats do not explicitly explain how they are going to do something, they likely intend not to do it. Keep in mind Roe v. Wade. Thank you so much for that as well.